starting lineups for UC San Diego. You see there Pope, Gray, Tate, Jones, Brooks, and Wakoria. Starting five for Eric Olin. But this First is offensive possession for UCSD. Sorry, Coach. No, no, my problem. My bad. Uh, this is going to say, right now you see Long Beach State in that zone. You know, and you've got to have an awareness of shooters. So you've got to cut off dribble drives inside, which you see right there. Way too easy. No resistance. But what they want to do is get into the paint, kick it out to shooters. To get it inside, to kick it out, which will enable them to get a paint score or a wide open jump shot. Tate Jones driving on Silva. Into the lane. Spins. And fouled by Issa. Long Beach State's bench didn't like it, and Tate Jones going to the line for two. Well, I think what Coach Bunsen was talking about, that little chicken wing elbow to start, but with Issa, you got to talk about your individual defense. All of a sudden, he was in a stance. The minute he stood up, he gave him the angle, and that's what allowed him to be able to get and spin from the defense to get the easy score or draw the foul. So Tate Jones at the line. First point for him. Didn't score in their last game. Well, what he is to me, he's the X factor in this starting five. I mean, I've seen him on tape play in attack mode. He has so much energy. Um, he's even good at pushing the ball in transition. But, you know, I'd like to see him be a little bit more aggressive. on. Tate Jones again. Out to Magai. Magai driving. Got by Jones and the finger roll. Gets his jump shot look. Yeah. Man. Six to shoot. Deep three, Makai. Nothing but net. What's the scouting report say? Shooter. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm telling you now, you can't. This, this team this team is really good from the perimeter. Don't let them get a rhythm. Jadon Jones, another shooter. Spun off. And the rebound, Tate Jones. Long Beach State with a six-point lead. Enjoying their largest lead in some time. Here's Gray for three, trying to cut it in half, and he does. Boy, I'll tell you, that was a great stunt by AJ to be able to stay composed and, man, just zip that ball on time on target. First, the basketball. One minute to play in this first half. Tate Jones caught underneath and throws it off of Ubacar out of bounds. Really good possession defensively in terms of when I move, you move, meaning the ball. The ball was moving, and again, you saw Long Beach State covering ground, being there on time, maybe even before time. Great anticipation, great help underneath the basket to avoid a mishap. And Tate Jones looks like got hit in the eye. Abubakar came over, shook his hand, apologized, but a chance for UCSD to regroup as Eric Olin takes a timeout. Six seconds on this shot clock, 56 seconds to play in the first half, and it's going to be Hayden Gray to toss it in. So real important, defend without fouling. Know where your shooters are. Don't give up a three. Well, Pope gets a good look from three, and it goes in and out, and then Tate Jones keeps it alive and gets fouled, trying to put up the second chance bucket. So he's going to the free throw line for two. And they got a good look there Great look. from that corner. Pope just uh, had it about a quarter of the way down and popped out. I mean, a, a lot of shots in this game both ways have gone in and out. Well, it's good offense, and both teams really are on the same page respectively. Of, you know, Like I said, what have we seen? Maybe one bad shot for sure, possibly two. Uh, but we haven't even seen any really contested, contested shots. And if it was, it was just good offense versus good defense. But... You know, the one thing that just drives you crazy as a coach is that shot goes up. You got guys turning to try and locate the ball. If you're Long Beach State, you've got a shot goes up. you got to find a blue jersey, and you've got to hit first and knock back. And uh, they, they, they haven't done that consistently this afternoon. Now, Aniwania, Tate Jones. Makes the first, trying to make it a one-point game here with the second free throw. The New Zealand native from Wellington, Jr. Puts it up, and it's good. He's got six points for this final shot in the last six seconds. Under five seconds. Tate Jones gets off the fallaway three and puts it in. 
and puts the Tritons on top at the half. They led for 23 seconds that entire first half, and they're about to lead for the next 15 minutes of halftime as Tate Jones, what a shot falling back into the Long Beach State bench. UCSD up by two at the break, our halftime coverage when we come back. Back to Long Beach inside the Walter Pyramid halftime, and it's UC San Diego with the two-point advantage thanks to that last-second three-pointer from Tate Jones, 36-34, our score. And here's a look at our first-half stats as UC San Diego outshot Long Beach State. 46 to 42, six of 15 from three for the Triton. Three fouls so far. Abubakar misses the second. And now with the basketball up by four, Triton. Five point game. Five minutes into the second half. Long Beach State, I, I like the hands are up. They're on the balls of their feet. Oh. Tate Jones fouled. See a booba car right away. Stop, I didn't do stop, anything. Stop. And he points at his teammate, AJ George. Stop. You know he knows we're all watching, right? There's a couple thousand people in here. No, I was going to say, it's just not me and you. <laughs> he just routed his teammate out. Well, hey, maybe a smart play. I mean, like we said earlier, important not to see him get in foul trouble if you're Long Beach State. Okay, listen, this game. And then they settled in. Again, UCSD's only loss this season came to UC Irvine at Irvine. They're going to get the Anteaters at their place in a couple weeks. Is a nice spin and lay in there. Gets the Tritons back on the board for the first time in three minutes. Hated Gray. 12 minutes to play. Tate Jones. No look underneath to Wakoria who lays it in. Well, that's just the Tritons getting comfortable in that zone. Gets cover. it out. 10 seconds to shoot. Tate Jones against Jadon Jones. Oh. And Brooks. Little hip check there as he went up for six minutes one. to play. A guy over to Tate Jones on the drive against George. Gets underneath. Reverse. And nice play there by Tate Jones. Boy, and A.J. George took that on the chest. Maybe may, might have knocked the wind out of him, but it was the strength of Tate Jones just playing that game low to high that created that separation after the contact was absorbed. Tate Jones flying to the hoop. He plays in attack mode. You know, he just, he sees the seam and he just grasps it and goes. Under four minutes to play. Again, both these offenses cooking here. In the late stages of this second half. Sahonis taking on a double team. Looking for help. Nope, does it himself. Missed it. And the rebound. Imperative for the beach to get stops right now. One and done. No open looks. Tate Jones. Count it. And he has done a great job getting to the basket. He missed the one on the last possession. Goes right back to it this time. And he's going to the line to try to cut this beach lead in half. I said it about 15 minutes ago. He plays in attack mode and could be the X factor on any given night. We just don't talk about him enough. That clock started. Now you got to defend without fouling. Limit penetration for kickouts. Tate Jones fouled and... He's about to head to the free throw line. Well, I foul on Stroud, his fourth. Yeah, I understand the dilemma that Stroud has because, you know, Tate catches it. It's a quick millisecond for a catch and shoot. So you, he wanted to be there not to give an open look, but he stood up. you got to stay with that length and athleticism. you got to beat him on that baseline drive with that bottom foot and use the baseline as a secondary defender. Shooting into the seat. Went back on a run and took a comfortable lead. It's hard to speed up well-coached teams. Sparks him into a strong finish. That's certainly what they'll hope for. Good find underneath. Tate Jones lays it in. Seven-point game again. Sahonis fouled again. Going back to the line. Takes the deep three. In and out. George grabs it. 
and then travels to give it back to the Tritons. Tritons look like they might not have fouled there. I they catch a break. They, I was wondering if they were going to, and you know, you would have thought immediately. <laughs> Maybe George thought he was about to be fouled. So the Tritons get it back into the corner. Pope three off the back of the backboard, and that should just about do it.